coping and astrophysicists tell bad jokes and hit stuff. May the 4th edition. What's the internal temperature of a tauntaun? Lukewarm. <laughs> oh, we're off to a good start today. How do Ewoks communicate over long distances? Ewokie talkies. What do you call an invisible droid? See through, Pio. <laughs> Why did episodes four, five, and six come before episodes one, two, and three? Because in charge of directing Yoda was. <laughs> that was such a bad impression. I apologize. I apologize. What do you get when you mix a bounty hunter with a tropical fruit? Mango fat. <laughs> How does Wicket get around indoor? He walks. <laughs> Happy May the 4th, everyone. We are back with an astrophysicist tells bad jokes and hit stuff. Chemistry edition. I heard you keep losing electrons. I mean, I told you, man, you gotta keep an eye on it. Want to hear a potassium joke? Okay. Because <laughs> it's the symbol. It's the symbol. <laughs> what do you do if a chemist gets sick? Well, if you can't helium or curium, you're going to have to bury him. <laughs> what did Silver say to Gold at the bar? Hey, you, get out of here. an astronomer call every element besides hydrogen and helium? A metal. <laughs> actually, that one's not a joke. That's actually what we do. I really love chemistry jokes. They're sodium funny. <laughs> oh, tell me your best ones in the comments. Welcome back to I'm Never Gonna Stop Doing This, an astrophysicist tells bad jokes and hits stuff. Yeah, this is pretty smooth, right? Element edition. All right, let's start it off with a classic. Two people walk into a bar. First person says, you know what, can I just get some H2O? The second person says, yeah, I'd like some H2O too. The second person dies. <laughs> yeah, you, yeah. The other day I was looking for sodium on the periodic table, but it told me it was not available. <laughs> Listen, what don't you understand about copper? It makes perfect sense. How does helium laugh? <laughs> That's actually a pretty bad joke because helium is monotonic. <laughs> so the other day, a teacher asked a student, do you know all of your elements? And the student responded, yeah, I think so. And the teacher said, I said, dope so. <laughs> Later, that teacher asked the student, hey, what's the formula for water? And the student said, H-I-J-K-L-M-N-O. And the teacher said, no, what? That's wrong. And the student said, but you said the formula for water is H2O. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. I'll stop with the puns. You've sulfured enough. <laughs> yes. And we're back with an astrophysicist tells bad jokes and hit stuff. So at the end of class yesterday, I asked my professor, hey, what came before the Big Bang? And she said, sorry, we don't have any time. <laughs> no. Time starts at the Big Bang. Why was Heisenberg's wife unhappy? Because whenever he had the energy, he didn't have the time. <laughs> you know, Albert Einstein created many concepts that are really important to physics. His brother Frank, on the other hand, he just created a monster. <laughs> I know that's not really sciencey, but it's funny, okay? If you ever want to insult someone, just tell them that they're the third time derivative of position. <laughs> How many general relativity physicists does it take to change a light bulb? Ten. One to hold the light bulb, and nine to rotate space. 
Where does bad light end up? In the prism. <laughs> that's, that's a good one. <laughs>